Welcome everyone to a very exciting and new event, the Launchers Races. In today's battles, we will see some epic jumps and some crashes between all of our racers. So stay tuned and let's watch. During today's races, we will have three new exciting competitors, each still wrapped up in their packaging. We will go ahead and review them so that way we know who exactly they are before we compete. So let's go ahead and start reviewing our racers. First up, we have an amazing car here with an awesome picture right there on the front. And here's what he looks like in the packaging for those of you who like to collect them. Do you happen to have this guy in your collection? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And then right here on the back, we do have more racers of the same series. Now let's go ahead and get them out of the packaging so that way we can review them even further. And the very first racer up is none other than Jeff Corvette! He's the American racer from the World Grand Prix, and he races with the number 24. Here's what he looks like on that really cool blue launcher, along with his pit stop partner right there. I love how they both have the American flag painted on both sides of them. And on Jeff Corvette's spoiler, you'll see the World Grand Prix also printed on them. I think it's really cool. Do you know which car Jeff Corvette's based off of? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Let's see how just how far he'll go. There he goes, off into the distance there, very slowly, but he does surely make it. Let's go ahead and check out our next racer. Here he is with that awesome picture right there on the front. I think it looks like a really cool slick piece of art. And there's that metal badge to let us know that he's a die cast. Here's what he looks like in the packaging that's very nice, unopened. He's perfectly safe in there. And on the back here are more racers of that same series. Now let's go ahead and get him out. I present to you Francesco Bernanelli, the Italian F1 racer from Italy. He also races in the World Grand Prix along with Jeff Corvette and many others. I love how this paint job looks and resembles like the Italian flag. Also his pit stop racer that resembles the Italian flag as well. And if you look to the back of him you'll see that really big spoiler. It's really cool. Here's what they both look like on that really cool launcher. Let's see how far they go. And there he goes rocketing off into the distance warming up for the big race. Let's go ahead and check up on our third new racer. Here he is with a really awesome picture right there on the front that shows him being launched. And then let's go ahead and check out what he looks like in the packaging. There he is. Really nice and crisp packaging. Unopened. He's in mint condition right there. We're about to break into him. Let's go ahead and check out these racers on the back from the same series. And now let's go ahead and break into that box. Here's what he looks like outside of the box. I present to you none other than the number 86 Chick Hicks. This is Lightning McQueen's rival from the first movie. He is sponsored by HTB and his main color is green and he has a ton of sponsors all over him. Here's what he looks like on top of that really cool yellow launcher with his pit stop racer. They both have mustaches on, like that girl looks like a mustache. Let's go ahead and launch him. There he goes. His tires are getting warmed up. I can't wait to see the three of these racers in the battle. Here's what our racers that we reviewed in today's video are. We have Jeff Corbett, Francesco Bernelli, and Chick Hicks. Which racer was your favorite? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. You can either leave the name or the number. Attention racing fans from across the globe! In today's races, we will have battles of epic proportions that will ultimately lead to the winner of this amazing tournament. Here we have the amazing launchers all lined up and ready to race. And if you'll notice in the middle there, we have two guest racers that will be competing in today's launchers tournament as well. But first, let's go ahead and check out this track that our racers will be going down. They will first start out all the way up here and they will travel down this gigantic track, down this hill, across the jump, across the bubble valley, and then they will land and have a straight shot towards the finish line. Whoever crosses it first will be titled the winner and will move on to the next round. And now let's get our first qualifier set up. We have Francesco Baronelli and Strip Weathers, aka the King. And wow, there go our racers down the track. What an amazing display of speed. Let's check it out again. Here come our racers barreling down the track. Oh no, Strip Weathers starting to fall behind with Francesco really putting pedals to the metal across that jump. And here comes Strip Weather still trying to catch up, not realizing the race is already over. Let's see it again. Here they come, across the jump there goes Francesco crossing the finish line first, followed by the King. Now let's go ahead and check up on our racers after that race. In second position, we have the number 43, Strip Weathers. And in first position, crossing the finish line is Francesco Baronelli. Congratulations for moving forward. What an amazing job. 
Now moving on to our second round, we have the number 42, Cal Weathers versus Jackson Storm. Good luck. And there go our Razors down the track. They're starting on summer side. Wow! So close to call. Let's check out the next replay. Here they come down the track, both starting out very close side by side. It looks like Jackson Storm is starting to fall behind, but now he's starting to push forward. And no, oh, it looks like it was by a hair. Let's check out that third replay just to see exactly who won. Here they come, lining up, and wow, it looks like they both crossed at the same time. Do we need to have a tie? Let's put it under official review. And after reviewing the footage very carefully, the judges have decided that it was a tie. Let's go ahead and line them back up and get ready for the second race. And there they go! Whoa! It looks like Cal Weathers almost wiping out. He looks like he recovered across the finish line. The second replay. Here they come down the track. After having a rocky start, the number 42 is in trouble because Jackson Storm takes advantage of his troubles and moves forward into that first position, crossing the finish line. Let's check it out one more time just to be sure. Here comes the third replay. Here comes Jackson Storm barreling across that finish line, followed by the number 42, Cal Weathers. Let's check up on our racers. Here's the Dynaco Racer in second position. And in the first position, we have Jackson Storm, the Igniter Racer. Congratulations for moving forward. And now moving forward to our third qualifier, we have Rusty's Cruz Ramirez and World Grand Prix Racer, Jeff Corvette. Who will win? There go our racers. Oh no, Cruz Ramirez coming off to a slow start. Then they go across the finish line. Here comes the second replay. Jeff Corvette rocketing across from the launching start. And Cruz Ramirez having some trouble there very slowly. But no, she's now starting to catch up. Will she be able to do it? Whoa, wow. It looks like Jeff Corvette by a hair. Let's check out that third replay just to be sure who won. And now reviewing the third replay. Here come our both our racers across that jump. And sliding in the first position just barely was Jeff Corvette. Cruz Ramirez was putting on the pressure. Here she is in that second position and there is our first position racer the american racer jeff corvette congratulations for moving forward to our semi-finals and now for our last round of qualifiers we have the old rivalry between lightning mcqueen and chick hicks what a beautiful start from both of our racers they're both side by side whoa let's watch it again and mcqueen does indeed get a better start but here come rare racers both barreling down the track about the same speed chick hicks starting to pull ahead here they come lining up for the jump can lightning mcqueen pull forward whoa so close to call looks like it might have been just by a hair a photo finish there here it is one last time and just barely chick hicks takes home the win mcqueen couldn't pull it off here he is in second position along with the number 86 Chick Hicks as our first position racer moving on to the semifinals. Congratulations! Congrats to all the racers who have won thus far. They have successfully moved on to our semifinal round. Let's go ahead and get our racers set up so we can begin. First up, we have Francesco Barinelli versus Jackson Storm. Get ready for the action. Boom, coming out of the game. Wow, Francesco putting on the overboost. Let's go ahead and check out the second replay. Here they come, Jackson Storm starting to fall behind and Francesco rocketing, really putting pedal to the metal, showing off his speed as he crosses the jump. Let's go ahead and check out our third replay just to see which racer crossed the finish line first. And Jackson Storm was nowhere in sight when Francesco Bernelli quickly crossed the finish line there. Let's go ahead and check up on our racers. Here's the number 2.0, Jackson Storm in second position. And the Italian F1 racer, Francesco Bernelli. Congratulations for moving forward. And now for our last round of the semifinals, we have Jeff Corvette pitted against Chick Hicks. There go our racers down the track, Jack Hicks quickly pulling in that first position. Let's check out our second replay. Here they come, Jeff Corvette. Oh no, having some trouble there. Have a rocky start getting up on that curb. It's gonna cost him, because here comes Chick Hicks putting on the pressure as he crosses that finish line. It kinda was close, Jeff Corvette did catch up a little. Here comes our third replay just to see who won. Here come our racers barreling down the track, and there goes Chick Hicks crossing the finish line just barely before Jeff Corvette crossed it. Let's check up on our racers. Here's the number 24 in second position, and Chick Hicks moves forward to the finals. And now, before we move on to our final round, we need to take a look at Jackson Storm and Jeff Corvette to determine a third position winner. We've got both of them lined up and ready to race. Let's see who will win. 
And there they go, barreling down the track. Jackson Storm quickly pulling in that first position. Here, let's check out the second replay. There goes Jeff Corvette having a wonderful launch, getting such distance out of that launch there. But no, he's starting to fall behind now. He's going to put pedal to the metal to catch up in order to win. And no, there he goes across the finish line. Let's check out the third replay to see who won. Here come both of our racers coming down the track. There's Jackson Storm crossing that finish line beautifully, followed by Jeff Corvette. Let's check up on our racers. Here's Jeff Corvette in second position. In the first position, we have the Igniter Racer, Jackson Storm. Congratulations on being our third place winner. Now let's move on to our final round to determine who will be the title of Grand Champion and take home the trophy. Let's go ahead and get our two racers set up on the track. We have Jack Hicks and Francesco Berenelli. The pressure's on between these two racers. Who will be the fastest? And wow, straight out of the gate, Francesco rockets into first position. Let's go ahead and check out on the ring play. Here comes our second replay. Chick Hicks having a wonderful launch, getting such distance out of it. But that doesn't matter. No, because Francesco Bernelli shoots into first position as he crosses the finish line, followed by Chick Hicks. Let's check out that third replay just to see exactly who won. And here they come, Francesco crawling to the finish line first, and then the number 86 following behind. Let's check up on our racers. Here's the number 86, the HTV racer, Chick Hicks in second position, and our F1 Italian racer, Francesco Bernelli in first, which means he is the winner of the Grand Championship round. Congratulations! And let's give a big congratulations to our second and third place winners and a big round of applause for all the racers that participated today. Thank you everyone for watching today's video. I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and remember to share with your friends. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out other videos on our channel to check out more content. And also remember to stay tuned for more exciting episodes of racing tournaments. And remember, in the meantime, keep racing!